hackers, welcome to the new video where we are going to hack Referrer Visit Access Control Lab from Web Security Academy and powered by Portswigger. So this lab controls access to certain admin functionality based on the referrer header. And here he said that we have to familiarize ourselves with administrator account to find the access flow and use that flow on a winner account, which is a regular user, to upgrade it to become an administrator. So guys, before moving forward, let's talk a little bit about referrer header. So let's go to the documentation. And here in a basic definition, he said that referrer HTTP request header contains the absolute or partial address from which a resource has been requested. So in other words, referrer is the place where we came from. So let's test it together and take a look. So let's click right. Let's go to end respect. And here we go. Let's go to the console. And in case that I'm going to use a JavaScript and to get any header, all what I have to do is to use a document object. So let's say document in here. And then I'm going to use the word referrer. And let me see where I came from in here. And as you can see, I came from www.google.com. So this is the place where I came from before I'm moving to this documentation. So this is basically what referrer is. So guys, before moving forward, if you like this kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and if you have any question or any feedback, please put it in the comment below and let's start. And uh, here we go, everybody. So first, let me connect as an administrator. So let's go to my account. Here we go. I'm going to say administrator. And then the password of admin. But before login, let me activate proxy proxy. I'm going to use community edition. Then let's go to the proxy, click enter spec twice, and then let's go to HTTP history. And now let me log in. Here we go. I don't need to save credentials. And now I'm connecting as an administrator. So if you watch my previous videos, you will recognize this interface and you will know also that I'm not going to base any attack on this email update functionality, but I'm going to move to the admin panel. And here we go. Now you can see that we have a select input with all the users in the system. And in here, we only have three users, which is callous, administrator, and a winner. And each one of them has its type, which is normal, means a regular user, administrator with admin, which is a superlative user. And also this is my regular account, which is winner. Also, he's a normal user. So in case that I'm going to find a flow based on upgrade, I'm going to test this functionality. But before doing this, let me clear the history. I don't need any garbage in here. So now I'm going to test on a Carlos. So let me upgrade. Here we go. Now you can see we have this endpoint based on a GET request, which is absolutely different than the previous lab. You can see that we don't use POST in this time, but we're using GET. Then we have admin roles, username callus, and then we have action of upgrade. So let me send this one to repeater. And here we go. Now you can see in here that Carlos become an admin. So let me downgrade him. Here we go. Now he backs to a normal rule. And let me check the endpoint in here. Now you can see the action change to downgrade. So let me send this one to repeater two and let me check the endpoints. Okay. So this one is downgrade. I'm going to call it downgrade in here. Downgrade. Here we go. And this one is absolutely upgrade. So let me use upgrade. So in this lab, we are going to base on referrer. So it's not only on the endpoint itself. So what I'm going to do, I'm trying now to upgrade Carlos, but in this time I'm going to focus on this referrer endpoint. 
As you can see in the referrer, which is came from slash admin. And as you can see it in this page, it's slash admin in here. So in here, maybe the system check this referrer before doing any action. So I'm not going to send the request, but I'm going to remove this referrer and see what's going to happen. Let me send. Here we go. Now you can see that I have 401 in authorize it, which means the system reject the functionality and didn't upgrade Carlos in here. So let me re-back the referrer in here. And here we go. Now, if I click in here, I think I'm going to upgrade the user. Yes, definitely. So we have 302. Let's follow the redirection. Now we have 200. So let me render the page. And here we go, now you can see Carlos is admin. So if I refresh this page, also I will see the admin in here, but I don't care of this thing. So let me downgrade it. And here we go, it's 302. Now let me check 200. And if I refresh, I hope that Carl is still normal. Here we go. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this endpoint with a regular user, which is winner. So let me first go to my account. Let me log out. And now let me go to my account again. And now let me connect as a winner and password of Peter. So I don't need to save the credentials. And here we go. You may ask yourself why I'm logging as a winner if I want to upgrade winner user. In case that a lot of systems use sessions to identify the users, I just log in to get the winner's session. I can just go to my extension, which is a cookie editor and get the winner's session. Or if you don't have this extension and you use Perpsuit, you can go to the proxy and you can go to my account ID winner and just copy this session in here. So if you don't know what is the endpoints, so slash my account, which is this profile page in here. Okay, let me back to repeater. So let me paste my winner session in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to test on Carlos and let me see if I'm able to upgrade Carlos or not. So let me send. Now I have 302, so I hope that I upgrade it successfully because I don't see in authorize it in here. So let me follow the redirection and see. And here we go. Now you can see he said that admin interface only available if the log it in as an administrator. I think this is absolutely normal. It may that slash admin endpoint is protected, but slash admin rules is not. So I hope that this endpoint is not protected as a slash admin. So how I can check this thing, all what I can do is to change Carlos to winner and I will see if I'm able to upgrade my account or not. So let me send. And now I have 302 and you can see that I solved successfully the lab. So let me follow the redirection. And as you can see now, I'm able to see the admin panel because I became the administrator. And also you can recognize that I was able to upgrade Carlos. And as you can see, it's admin in here. So I hope when I refresh this page to see admin panel and the nav bar, and here we go. Now you can see it over here. So let me visit it. And here we go, now you can see that I'm able to see the admin panel and you can recognize that all the users become admin. So guys, I hope that you learned something new from this video. If you like this kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and if you have any suggestion or any feedback or any question, please put it in the comment below and stay tuned to the next video.